Tea did not go in Japan until the first seeds were brought from China during the Tang Dynasty. In feudal Japan, the way of the tea was an essential culinary art. It was practiced only by the wealthy because of the price. May I have some of that tea? This one? Yes. It's 20,500 yen. Let's see if I have enough. Will this be enough? No, it's not enough. You have to leave. May I have some tea? It's for my husband. He works in the government. Yes, it's 20,500 yen. Will this be enough? Yes, that's enough. Please, have this. Thank you. Arigato. This is the setting of a tea ceremony. It is practiced on the floors called tatami. During the ceremony, the tea is served in bowls called ojama, which is on the right of this picture. The mixing utensil on the right of this picture is called chasen, and it is carved from one single piece of bamboo. This is Sen Norikyu. He was a tea master for Emperor Ogimachi. Because of his mastery of tea, he had much impact on the government and influenced the emperor's decisions. He was considered the advisor to the emperor. Sen Norikyu has changed a lot of aspects on the ways of tea, which is still practiced today. Emperor that Japan's ever had. Example A, this mug. Example B, when I was walking down the street the other day, this guy came up to me and said, Emperor Ogimachi, you are the best emperor ever. You are the worst emperor ever. I hate your gut. Hello, my name is Senoriku. I am a tea master. I am the world's best tea master the world's best tea master. I am also the advisor to the emperor, aka the regional assistant to Emperor Ogimachi. Also, I brew tea leaves on my farm with my brother, Moe's Fujiwara, and I also got this cup because I saw that the emperor had a cup like this, and I just respect him so much. 
I respect Sen Norikyu as my tea master. I count on him for advices on how to rule the country. I think the emperor really respects me. I need your advice! I got, I got work to do. I asked Signorico to serve me tea because I know it's his forte. But little does he know that I played a trick on him. Hey, Signorico, can you teach me how to make some tea? Yes. Let me just. You are a. Over the years, I developed four simple rules to help the tea ceremony process be even better. They are harmony, tranquility, respect, and purity. My principles have been used throughout history and have remained an essential staple in the modern tea ceremony. Who's laughing now, Fujiwara? Ha! Ha! Ha!